the human body operates in a marvelous way. Its different organs fulfill different duties in a specific working system to ensure their harmonious functioning. Today, our intention will be directed to human circulatory system, particularly to the blood flow. This process requires blood vessels and the heart. Blood circulation starts when the heart muscles relaxes, allowing the blood to fill up the heart again. Afterwards, the heart muscles contract and pumps blood out of the heart. The heart contracts into two stages. During the first stage, the right and the left atria contract at the same time, pumping blood to the right and the left ventricles. Valves, openings that separate atria and ventricle, open in one direction toward ventricles to let the blood pass through. For that, blood cannot flow backward into the atria. In the second stage, the walls of ventricle squeeze together and force the blood out into the arteries. Valves at the bottom of those large arteries prevent flowing back of blood into the heart. The heart is divided into two parts. The right part fed with the oxygenated blood and the left part with oxygenated blood. The blood leaving the heart goes into two different directions according to the part of the heart it comes from. There are two blood circulation in the human body which are connected and taking place simultaneously. These are the pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation. The pulmonary circulation is a process starting from the right ventricle. Oxygen poor blood is pumped into the pulmonary artery, which branches off into smaller and smaller arteries and capillaries. The capillaries form a thin network around the pulmonary vesicles where carbon dioxide is released from the blood and fresh oxygen enter the bloodstream. Capillaries transporting oxygen-rich blood join together to form small veins. The veins, in turn, unite with each other to form large veins until the blood from the lungs is finally collected into the large pulmonary vein that delivers blood into the left atria. Systemic circulation is another process which starts from the left ventricle. Oxygen-rich blood is pumped into the aorta. The aorta branches into the large arteries, which ramify into smaller and smaller arteries. The smallest arteries end in a network of thin capillaries with extremely thin walls so that important substances can pass easily through the walls to nearby cells. At the same time, the blood in the capillaries correct carbon dioxide and other waste from the body cells. Capillaries, which contain carbon dioxide-rich blood, join together to form small veins. The veins, in turn, unite with each other to form large veins until the blood from the body is finally corrected to the large superior and inferior vena cover that open into the right atria. The systemic circulation is much longer than pulmonary circulation because it transports blood to every part of the body. In short, blood circulation is a closed circle. Blood goes away from the heart in arteries, traveling to various parts of the body in capillaries, and comes back to the heart in vain. The blood never leaves the network of blood vessels. In contrast, Oxygen and nutrient diffuse across the blood vessels walls toward the target cells. And carbon dioxide wastes in the opposite direction. All those are repeated over and over, causing blood to flow continuously through the heart, lungs, and body.